is Jennifer Todd, and I'm happy to be here with you to talk about my paper, Unionism, Identity and Irish Unity, in the Aragon series. A basic principle of the peace process and the Good Friday Agreement was equal recognition and respect for all the, the identities and traditions on the island and in Northern Ireland. Some unionists believe that their identity couldn't be respected in a united Ireland because it depends on being part of the British state. Some nationalists believe that we shouldn't talk about a united Ireland until unionists are more comfortable with it. I disagree. There's a confusion about two different types of identity. Identity as perspective, as a way of looking at the world, thinking, feeling, is of irreducible value and of course it should be protected. Identity as group political identity, as solidarity and power, doesn't have the same claims. Unionist group political identity, solidarity and power won't be sustained in a united Ireland, but neither will nationalist. That's just the way that people change in new circumstances. Um, unionist identity as perspective can be protected in the united Ireland, first by recognising unionisms as a whole range of different identities as perspective ways of thinking, feeling, which converge in linkages and connections with Great Britain. Second, in protecting those linkages and connections with Great Britain so that the ways of life can continue even while the political identity fades. Third, by ensuring that the new state gives equality of access and influence to those with British linkages connections as to those with Irish or European. This would require constitutional change and in the paper I talk about how it might be done. Um, I also talk in the paper about those unionists whose group political identity outweighs their identity as perspective and who believe that their identity would simply be destroyed in the United Ireland and they'd be defined solely by their enemies. In conclusion, my paper argues that a new United Ireland shouldn't confirm any identity, any political identity, nationalist or unionist, um, it should recognise a multiplicity of diverse voices and perspectives within nationalism, unionisms and other perspectives and should give voice to them without giving any political group a political veto. Um, how this is to be done is discussed in much more detail in my paper. Thank you for listening to me.